Either is solo. We've lost both of the uh, the Nest players. Yeah, the Nest players in shambles. The the more... Zoomers themselves too distracted by Subway Surfer to pay attention in the middle of bracket. Exactly. Instead, we've got the other Earthbound boy, Tarachi versus Cyan in loser. Wait, hold up. Who uh, who beat Pokepen on loser side? Let me pull up the bracket uh, real Eddie. quick. Oh, Cyan. People are Cyan I on loser was side. Eddie, I Eddie was winner side, right? Oh yeah. I, Bluesy's saying cyan, so I'm going to take your word for it. Great cyan? stuff. Over. Oh, wow. Wow. Very, very cool. Wow, what a, what a, what a crazy tournament. It did look like Ryan. Uh, Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. You know what's funny? My name is Ryan, and I, st I can't pronounce it's his It's because name. of the way he print, write, yeah. writes it in the game. It's, it's, the, it's the Valley Girl, for it's sure. The, yeah, it's the Valley Girl. Please bully me, Ryan. Mm -hmm. It's the mom. Why on earth did you date Name me Ryan. Like I'm this. just like, why so. Did you do this I'm not me? like other girls. I name my kids the worst way imaginable. Right, That's like it, the was it the Kim Kardashian Northeast West or something, right? Northwest, yeah. Isn't the middle right. name like East? Is it East? Oh god. I feel like South got scammed. South did kind of get scammed. Like you could have given them two middle names and you didn't. You just hate the South. Why you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> based, first of all. Based, yeah. yeah actually, kind of based. Hang on a second. Okay, yeah. I might be on Kim's side on this uh, one. Yeah. All right, we are best of five territory now. This is top four, so this now, is a best of five. This, this is a classic. Oh. Ludo Moxie. This is indeed a classic. And again, Moxie rocking that Fate tag in honor of Fate Ziggy. Didn't these two live together at one point? Player. That might it? not be true, but for some reason, I feel like they did. If not, either way, they have played a lot. Chat can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure someone knows, but I swear, maybe they're just like together so much that people assumed that they lived together because they were too busy grinding. Potentially, seeing Moxie throw. Out. Ooh, great parry nice on the parry. That was the blind parry. Just knowing the timing, the Moxie fundies right there. <gasps> oh, oh yeah, just barely not landing. Going for another one. Doesn't find the mark on that one either. Oh, how on earth did that miss? He had the read on the roll and so somehow. many. These two are just coming out of the gate yeah, swinging. They are swinging at each other. This is a we need a yeet smash most smash attacks in one minute. <laughs> that was crazy. Ooh, great cape back. Again, that's just the knowledge. You know Mox is throwing out that laser right there. Some some metagame. Oh, oh okay. great with the up air or up smash. Thank okay, Moxie. That was some uh some gaming instinct right there. I like that. Ludo Didn't. trying to stay safe with these backers. Very spaced. Yeah, Ludo did a really good job of not dying to any of that <laughs> nonsense. Like, yeah. I don't know how else to it say is, it. Like, great job not dying. It is incredible that he's still alive, honestly. Oh, another up smash. Yeah, that up smash does have a lot of startup, and we've seen it twice now work out in Ludo's favor. All right, wow. And Moxie looking for these up airs, looking for these kill moves in, in center stage, but I don't feel like Ludo's one to give them out for free. Well, I thought the dash attack was coming out, but instead Moxie waiting for the jump and gets the back air finally to take it out. Yeah, two minutes have gone by. This is this has been a slower first stock yeah, out of these two players. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it, right? No, it doesn't. They, they've been they've been scrapping. They've been slugging. It's just that these two were, uh, I don't know, they might have uh, added a mod to make their characters heavier or something. <laughs> yeah, they were not dying. Ooh, great upbeat. That's actually really smart. Going onto the platform there. Not a whole lot of end lag. I really like Moxie's usage of up tilt. A lot of wolves don't use that move a lot. Moxie does a really good job of using it as an anti air when up smash is not a great option. It's the uh, the, Ken, the the flow chart Ken, right? The, yeah, uh, exactly. You just gotta crouch a little bit. I think you meant Guile, right? Yeah, that's what that's what I meant. That was it. Indeed. I, it's fitting. We do have. Ken's brother. I uh, I shouldn't say that. That's gonna make people too mad. <laughs> I was gonna say it as a bit, that. and I'm like, uh, people are gonna get too mad. That's too far. We've got Ken's training partner, his brother from another mother, if you will, Ryu on screen right now. Oh, I mean, Wolf's a Shoto. Right okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> is this this? Oh wow! Again, the the, the patient Wolf? dashes back and forth. I guess Wolf is a charged character. If you think about it, the up smash it takes a while to come out. It's a charged character. It does. Basically the same thing. It's basically oh. Guile. Yep, and again, the down smash is the fastest smash attack that Ludo can put out there, and it is fast enough to punish that get up attack. Ooh, okay. I, I love seeing a little bit of F tilt action. Ludo gives me that. 
Okay, Nair and the Oh, conversion. still going. Goes for the Nair. No up B to be had there. I think just once the positioning. Because when you do that, you get this, this edge guard. This whole situation is because he went for a Nair instead of an up B. That's really good awareness from Ludo. Just keeping that advantage state really, really quite solid. Also, I saw Moxie going for those back airs, short hopping to the platform again. Not dead yet. 131%. Double the jump air Nair. Dog. Ooh! Okay, Moxie. That's what we like to see. Only 100% deficit. I can see Moxie. Shine doing combos. Oh, I wanted to see the shine combo. Dream on. This is looking. <laughs> Looking real scary for Moxie in this game one, 129%. There you go, a little flood action maybe. Some charge in. Ooh, okay, we've got a we've got a shine back. Oh, you're dead. You're a super dead. <laughs> he chased down too. <laughs> I like how he just jumped off the stage after Moxie. Like, yeah, you're just dead. I feel like there's a world there where Moxie did some crazy angled up B and knocked him into the blast zone. That would have been crazy. It would have been really hard because her controls would have been reversed, but doable. That, that's just, it just requires a little bit of forethought, you know? Yeah, and some foresight even. Ooh, perhaps. Perhaps. All right, let's get that Pyramithra on screen. Which Street Fighter character is Pyramithra? Um, Akuma. <laughs> 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 Wait, how? <laughs> They're a goddamn bastard is what they are. <laughs> okay. Okay, fair enough. Okay, getting that parry into the F-tilt. Again, it's just very patient, very respectful play out of both of them. Not wanting to overimpose. I feel like Ludo is just getting slightly more off of the neutral openings than Moxie is. That said, though, real yeah. scary at the ledge. Moxie may not need as much if she can get like a down smash or a back air in those situations. Like Fair Bear would, I think, combo and kill right now. I Yeah, it, it would, especially towards the ledge here. Ooh. But Fair alone. Ooh, Moxie was ready for it. Yeah, says he, I don't actually need that Fair of yours. That, that suggestion, nonsense. I got this. That was the day one air dodge right Ooh, there. That, that was so totally scary. worked for Moxie. You that ever do that? Dangerous. Like you're fading like you're going to land one way and then at the last second <laughs> yeah. you just air dodge back. Oh, and yeah, haha, -ha, funny move. Get ha -ha, reversed funny. on. I, I, I do love it though. It is, it is great. Funny. I love it. <laughs> like the flood to reverse, there's just nothing you can do. And now the early combos from Ludo does not get nearly as much that time, but he's still converting. Okay. Still going. A lot of that stuff wasn't true, but now look how much he got off of it. Oh, so much. So much. It feels... Oh, hold on. That Moxie DI mix-up was it. scary. Yeah. I'm waiting for just a hard down smash read at ledge from Moxie. Like, just the desperate, I'm going to lose this game, so I need to try something. It, it feels like it's building up, doesn't it? Feels like we could end up seeing that. 69%. And hold on. Okay. Good air dodge. Not, not going to risk it with any kind of recovery option. Moxie's trying to play so safe with these back airs at the ledge, and Ludo is just taking that safety to the bank. <laughs> After all of these safe moves, all of a sudden they throw out a bunch of smash attacks, and... and yeah, it's, it's like, really? Come on. <laughs> they throw it all away, and why not? Because that Ludo up smash is going to find Moxie's second stock. Again, a lead. Ooh, that was a sneaky up air. Again, back to the patient play here. Moxie not wanting to overextend, not wanting to give Ludo too much of a some extra credit, right? You know, Ludo oh, I just really figured out the stock. Wolf is Luke. Wolf is Luke. Like Skywalker? No, in uh, oh, Street, Street Fighter. Fighter. <laughs> he's he's Luke. Because he's just the better Shoto. Ah, I see. <laughs> oh, that that upset sort of scoop from just long enough. Okay, guess that yep. laser right back in the face. Mox Hold on. Oh, I was about to say that Moxie's back in this game, but all of a sudden, Ludo reminding me that he's got those combos on lock. It's amazing how good he is at finding the platforms for his combos. Yeah, no, really, really. I mean, I feel like it's just because we see it uh, so frequently, but like those are the options he goes for when he. Like when every he time I try to do that stuff. Somehow the platform is always out of reach, but just like the setup awareness in the neutral spacing from Ludo to be in positions that when he gets his hit, he can convert off of it. That said, Moxie has started to bring this back, obviously in disadvantage right now, but 70% on Ludo. Again, great empty hop. Tries to go for the forward air off of that down throw. 
Makes you wonder what would have happened if Luda just read the jump and went for a nair there. Yeah, Could have been the end of the game. But that's those 50-50s. That's one of the things that makes Smash so exciting. You Ooh, have to yep. outplay your opponent just like that. It looks like Moxie was a little upset about yeah. ending up on stage there. Yeah, that just happens sometimes if you're Wolf. You think you've got it, and then... Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, so Dude, as someone that plays Wolf, it can feel yeah. quite bad. I have quite done bad. that. What's worth it, I main Falco, so whenever I play Wolf, I do that repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't doesn't quite work. Oh, and we've seen the chess game come to an Man, end Man, what a, what a time to be alive checking out that chess game. We're in for one second, and it's over. White taking it. All right, here is what is going on here. We've got Ludo with a 2-0 lead over Moxie, oh. and we are back on PS2 for game number three. I, All three of the games. I love what Moxie did with that early combo. The execution missed a little bit, but baited out the up B from Ludo, who was expecting something like a grab follow-up, and then tried to go for the punish. Well, Ludo knew he had a combo there, but knew better than to try to overextend. Man, it seems like Moxie is just all over him. It's amazing that Ludo manages to get out of these situations with so little damage. The tempo has picked up, for sure. Yeah. Look at all the uh, the well, moves that Moxie is throwing Oh, well, we say here. that, but remember Hold game on. one? Oh, oh yeah. the tech roll in. Great stuff from Moxie staying alive. That could have been curtains. Yeah, great DI, too. Whew. Uh, could have been curtains. The F tilt sends him off towards the right side of the stage. This is kind of dangerous. Moxie's looking like a fierce opponent right now. Yep, tries to catch the two frame. Ooh, wow, great conversion off that fireball. Gets the down tilt. <laughs> and the, I, we're back to the, the mashy smash. Yeah. You know? I was trying to try to get, like, my Street Fighter analogies back on lock. <laughs> Here we go. Get I will say, Moxie's in a position now where, like, roll behind back throw at the ledge or just back here. Yeah. Back here. <laughs> The, the Wi-Fi, the robot in the back <laughs> It just, it works. It does work sometimes, for sure. And you're, the opponent always gets annoyed, like, ah, why did I get hit by that? It's like, well. Yeah, well, maybe just stop getting up it, and know? shielding immediately. Yeah. Like, it's kind of on you. Ooh, great Aggression parry. from Moxie. <clears throat> I feel like that's been a big part of this set. Ludo is really good at punishing Moxie's aggression. Yeah, and that's why Moxie, we see moments like this where Moxie doesn't yeah. want to be too aggressive. He has to slow down. Immediate attempt to adapt to that pressure thing thrown out. Opportunity for Moxie to shark a little bit here. Goes for this check chase, does not get it. Finally resetting that up air opportunity. But again, Ludo just breaks out. He keeps finding ways to get out of these scary situations that Moxie puts him in. Oh, and that mm. time finds that two frame, and that's going to be a big difference. This is a huge lead for Moxie right now. Oh, gets that laser right back in the face. I feel like he's been pretty good about this. Hold on, we're at the present where this kills. And it does. Bonk. Just like that, the game is even. Ludo gets his one. It doesn't matter who he's playing. He always gets his one. Because he sets up situations all throughout this. Nice tech chase. Forget what I'm saying. That was clean from Moxie. Oh, hold on, 70%. Yeah, oh, this is okay. Moxie's cooking. The first, that was in the, we've never seen him go for that dash tag. Also falls out of the down air. That's quite surprising. Getting something we don't see very frequently. And okay, Moxie. Moxie. Looking yeah. much more in control now, but there we go, and Ludo gets one. That could have been dangerous. Yeah, if oh. you got the tech chase, and it's dangerous again. Oh. Ooh, that could have been the set right there. I, I love him going for that, honestly. That is, that's yeah, a like you might as well. Uh -huh. yeah. Didn't get punished hey. too awfully hard for it. Back to the safe neutral. Neither of them wants to overextend. Good respect from Moxie not trying to punish that back air from Ludo, knowing that she doesn't have the frame advantage. Instead, just fishing for these back airs now, fishing for that laser, trying to get Ludo to approach so that she can punish it just like this. Just like that. Does it, in fact, punish Ludo? Ludo Force him low. Oh, wow. that was big for Ludo. Yeah, just barely got clipped by it. But he got sent off again. This time, Moxie going for the shield immediately at ledge, scared of that up B. And so Ludo was able to get back for free. Just the fear from Moxie there of that situation coming back. Which is surprising. We saw earlier Moxie was really good about punishing that fireball getup from, from Ludo. And not seeing it this time. That fear has been struck deep into Moxie's heart. Oh, this Both could go either oh, way. What a read from Ludo. Still alive. 
Can Moxie get back? Maybe. Great wait there from Moxie. Got to jump back. Good stall. Great stall there going for both the jump and the up B to slow things down as much as possible. Talk about a last hit situation here. 157 to 139. Maybe going to kill. Just barely. DI. I would have expected him to go like more into the corner more there. More into the corner for sure. And he, he looked like himself mad. Yeah, he was a little surprised. A little surprised he died. We'll call it snapback. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, controller issues. Yeah, what, what it was just controller issues. Wow, really? Wow. Ludo almost brought that game back off of uh, being a full stock down. And instead, came down to a nail biter. And we're going into game number four. And game number 15 of chess right now. Nice even game at the moment. Three points to three points. Pretty aggressive uh, early pawn pushes from White as well. We're seeing the B3, C4. That's not a common setup. And, you know, I'm not going to say anything, but, like, for good reason, it's, it's, it's kind of it's kind of trash. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we're back on PS2. Anyway, yeah, uh, let's talk about some sorry. Smashy Bros. Some, uh, smashy Brothers. Okay, hold And on, we can see throw. Ludo pushing his pawns to get this advantage right now. Moxie goes for the trade, of course, throwing her own pawns out, but it doesn't work out as Ludo is able to get the point advantage. Kind of crazy to... Called. I'm just seeing some some interesting options. We'll have to see how they come into fruition. There's a little bit more aggression from both of them right now. Nice parry on that fireball. You gotta respect that. Mm -hmm. Like you don't need to parry that. It does basically nothing. If you know, I'm just saying, this is a crazy far out there thing. But uh, Moxie does have a reflector. No. What if she used it? <laughs> Honestly, against Mario, is the, is the risk reward really there? In that situation, she literally just stood there and waited for the fireball to parry it. But I feel like right. that's the time that you reflect it, right? It looks cool. It's the mental damage. You're forgetting about the mental damage. How about damage. the physical damage from the reflected fireball? Nah, that's overrated. Instead, we see Ludo taking the first stock with that back air. That's mental damage. Oh, hold on. But making a really interesting situation for Moxie. Great dash out of the way. Moxie needs to get this kill before Ludo starts to get out of hand here. Okay, yeah, that's, that's what you need. That was a scary. Those are the situations where you see Ludo extend the lead with a with a forward. I feel yeah. like Moxie does back air at the ledge so often, and Ludo has kind of figured out how to play around that. And I haven't seen a lot of adaptation going back the other way from Moxie to mix that up. Obviously, back air at the ledge is crazy, but it's right, pretty good. But if you're not dodge. going for other things every once in a while. Yeah, another jump from the ledge. Ludo just keeps doing those kinds of options that just Moxie's choices at the ledge are being countered by it so well. Oh, speaking of choices. Here. Yeah, that is a choice. Okay, yeah. Th this Back should throw. kill. I don't think so. Okay. Oh, it he DI'd <laughs> into the blast zone, yeah. I feel like if he did, like, no DI, there might have been a chance. Because that was center stage. That was center stage, but 100% rage and 180% on. Yeah, you're right. The up. rage makes that a lot yeah. more potent. As, as a strong option. But that, that rage is there for a reason. It's because Ludo's like, just belting out damage right now. Not looking great for Moxie. But, I mean, it's Wolf. It is Wolf, I believe. I have seen many oh. a Wolf stock in my day. There's a reason they're called Wolf stocks. Okay, that's the start. Never mind. Ludo mashing out with that frame three nair. So frustrating to try to combo frame three nair characters. Yep. It's crazy to think there are like a decent number of characters in the game that have a strong combo breaker offensive option that is faster than some characters' air dodges. Yeah. Oh, oh no, tragic. Moxie. Not making it back to ledge there. Trying to get like a clever angle to ride up the wall and stall, but went a little too shallow with it and ended up SDing. That is unfortunate. Wow, it, you can kind of feel the, the tide, right? It, it feels like down throw, up air, up air, forward Bonk. air. No tech oh, roll in for yep. the second time from Moxie. She's so aware of that. And honestly, you have so much time. He's going oh, for the, oh, okay. the landing up air, though. He's still searching for the four. Like, this is not point. over. No, Moxie, especially with that up throw. Ooh. Moxie could bring this to a game five right now. We've seen 80% combos out of out of Moxie, or 80% advantage states. This is yeah. definitely doable. Down throw. Looks, looks for the back air. Imagine being Ludo and losing this after that fair spike. 
That's the mental damage. Like coming back from this gives you so much momentum. Oh, and still man, going. Tech oh, chase. so close. But Ludo with a tech chase of his own, forcing Moxie into the corner. He's been so threatening in these corner situations. He's still going, charging that flood as well, forcing Moxie to use all her resources, and she cannot come back. Ludo taking the set, finally using that flood super well. We didn't see a lot of it throughout the set, but we saw it when it mattered. Yo, he used it just as much as he really felt like he needed to, and it, it came out uh, pretty damn pretty damn potently. It was, it was good stuff. Especially, we also saw a lot of cape usage off stage. It was yeah. quite, quite effective. We might be able to see some of it here in the highlights. We love the highlights. I mean, break dancing with that down smash. That's one of my favorite animations. The down smash from Mario is so good. I think this is a cape moment. Yeah. <laughs> just for shit. And he just jumps off. Yeah. Oh, the cape. Speaking of the cape moments, you have to be yeah. so careful. That's a reminder right there. Like, we feel like, haha, funny move cape. But if you spam that, Mox is going to punish you for it. Every option, there is a rock, paper, scissors answer to. And I don't think we saw a cape a whole lot after that exact moment. Yeah. Not, not much I could think of. Ludo was like, okay, let me put that away for a while. He used it, obviously, like a stall option right there. But even then, it didn't really help him that much. I miss the days of, like, scrub smash. Where you eat cape to F smash in neutral? The classic. Cape to F smash. <laughs> yeah, that is a classic. I uh, bring that back. Alright, I got to I'm gonna take a quick detour because I have to find out when my carpool is. Oh later. no. And then uh, we shall we shall see if I well, return. Hopefully you come back, but either way, dude, it has been a pleasure. Oh, I solo pleasure cast way too many of these. <laughs> always great to have someone here. No, this is great. We Seem to be working off of each other pretty well. Oh my God, R Ryan! Farming his way yeah, through. Yeah, Ryan's still in here. Okay. This is crazy. I kind of was hoping we'd see some Mio on stream just because.